Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, we'll be going over some simple terminal commands to get you more comfortable within the command line. In a previous video, we learned how to navigate the file system without altering the file system in any way. Uh, but in this walkthrough, we'll actually be creating files and directories, we'll be deleting files and directories, and we'll also learn how to copy, rename, and move files and directories. So I'll have my finder window opened on this side of the screen so we can visually get an idea of what's going on. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, over here in the terminal, if I run PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory, we can see that I'm currently within my user folder, projects, demos, terminal, and basics. Now this is also the folder that I'm in over here within Finder uh, so that we can see what's going on. Now let's go ahead and create a directory within this folder called tester. And the way that we're going to do that is mkdir make dir, and we'll call this test dir. Now you can see when I ran that, that this folder popped up over here within Finder, uh, but within the terminal we can run ls, and when we run ls we can see that the directory is also showing up within terminal. So now let's go ahead and navigate to that directory, and to do that we do cd test dir, and navigate into there, and within Finder we'll just click into it. So now let's create a file within this directory called test file. So I'm going to do a touch to create this file, and that'll be test underscore file dot txt. And if I run that command, you can see over here in the finder window that that test file was created. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this file and add some text so that we have some unique file contents to work with. And we can do this within the terminal with open test file dot txt, and that'll use the default program on your machine to open up this file. And the contents that I'm going to add here are just, I'm just going to call it test file uh, txt, the same name as the file, slightly different. So now let's go ahead and close that down. So now let's learn how we can make a copy of this file within terminal. To do this we use the cp command. So I'm going to do cp and then to autocomplete like that I'm just hitting tab after I type a little bit. So I'm going to do cp test underscore file dot txt and this new file uh, I'm just going to call copy file dot txt. So now if I hit enter there you can see within our finder window that it created this copy file at txt. And if I open this up, you can see that it does have the same file contents that we put in the first file, so it is a copy. So now let's look at how we can rename a file. Now renaming a file might seem a little weird because moving a file and renaming a file is actually the same process. So if you want to rename a file, then you use the mv command, which is the move command. And since we're just going to leave it in the same place, we're going to move the file to the same directory, but give it a different name. So I'm going to rename test underscore file dot txt to uh, original file dot txt. So I'm going to do move test file dot txt, and I'm going to call this orig underscore file dot txt. And you can see when I ran that command, we no longer have test file dot txt. We have this orig file dot txt. Now what if we want to move a file without renaming the file? We can do that by specifying a new location and no file name. So to show an example of that, I'm actually going to create a new directory here in this current folder called subdir1. So if we remember it's make dir subdir1 and you can see that here within Finder. Now I'm going to move this original file.txt to subdir1 but I'm not going to rename the file so I can do that just by doing a move origfile.txt and now I'm going to type in the new location and I want to put this within subdir1. So if I run that you can see that the file vanished over here within finder and within terminal I'm going to cd into subdir1 and do an ls and you can see that the file's there. If I navigate there in finder you can see that it is there also. So now I'm going to move it and rename it at the same time. So to do this I can just do a move origfile.txt and I'm going to move this up one directory into our tester folder which is visible over here in Finder. And now that I've specified the location I'm going to go ahead and give it its name back to file.txt. So if I run that command now we can see that this subdir1 is empty and that the original file got moved back to our tester and renamed at the same time. And if I open this up you can see that the contents are still the same. Okay, now let's look at how we can delete some files. 
to delete a file, we can use the rm command. So let's remove this copied file here with rm copy. Oh, and actually I'm in subdir1, so let me cd back up a directory. So now I'm going to do rm copy file.txt. And you can see over here within testdir that the copy file.txt was deleted. Now be careful when you're running remove files from within the terminal because deleting a file within the terminal isn't the same as deleting a file on your file system. It doesn't ask you, are you sure? And they don't get sent to your trash can for easy recovery. So when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, so be careful when using the remove files within the terminal. Now we've been looking at how we can copy and rename and delete files. Uh, now let's look at how we can do some of these same things to directories. Working with directories can be slightly different than working with files. So let's go ahead and move up a directory here so that we can see our entire tester directory. So if I do an ls, you can see that we have our tester here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that over here within Finder also. So now let's try to copy our tester uh, to a directory called copyder in the same way that we did a file. So I'm going to do a cp tester, and then I want to name the copy copyder. So let's run that. So the first problem that we run into here is that it says that copyder doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and make a directory called copyder and run that. Now you can see that this directory exists, but it's empty. So now let's try that command again, copy the tester into copyder. Now you can see that we're getting this message that tester is a directory not copied. So in order to get around this, we need to use the dash R option. Now remember, if you ne ever need to find out more about the options that are available to you, then you can do that by viewing the man page by typing man and then the command that you want to look at. So if we did man cp, then you can look at all the options that you have available to you there. And you can just hit Q to get out of that. So we're going to be using the dash R option. So really quick, let's just take a look at what that means exactly. So you can see here this dash R, it says if the source file designates a directory, CP copies the directory and the entire subtree connected at that point. So that's what we want. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I go back to my CP command, I'm going to come back here to the beginning and do a dash R. So now if I run this and make this half the size of the screen, so now we didn't get any errors that time. So if we do open this up, you can see that it has all of the same contents that tester had. So now we successfully copied our entire directory. So now let's try to rename the directory. Remember when we rename the files, we use the MV command. So let's try to do that to our tester. So I'm going to do a move tester and let's rename this to origder. So if I run that, then you can see that we didn't get any errors and that over here within Finder, it did rename this to origder. So the MV command renamed the directory without needing any additional options. And also like files, I can move the directory without renaming uh, the directory. So if I wanted to do an MV of origder, I'm going to move this entire directory within the copy dir directory. So if I run that, then we can see that it took it out of this folder here. And if I navigate to copy dir, it still has the other contents that tester used to have, but we also have the original directory here and it contains all these contents as well. So now lastly, just like we did with files, let's go ahead and move the directory back up to the parent directory and rename it at the same time. And we'll rename it back to tester. So in order to do this, I'm going to CD into the copy dir here. And that's where we are within finder over here. And I'm going to do a move and I'm going to move the original directory up one directory to the parent. And then at the same time, I'm going to rename it to tester. So if I run that, you can see that the original directory is no longer within the copy directory. And if I navigate back to the parent folder, then it was renamed to tester. And you can see that all of the subfolders and files are still there. So one more thing, just like with the files, let's go ahead and try to delete a directory. So if we remember when we deleted the file, we use the rm command. So let's do an rm and let's try to delete this copy directory. Oh, and actually I need to navigate up to my parent folder where these two directories are. And now let's do an rm and let's remove the copy directory. 
Now you can see here that I got this error and just like copying a file, it says that copyder is a directory. Um, so also just like copying, we can add the dash R option and it will remove the directory. So I'm going to do an RM dash R on copy dir. So now if I run that within finder over here, you can see that the copy directory was deleted. So one last quick note here. Sometimes you might run into some files that give you issues when you try to delete them. Uh, if you want, you can force a deletion of the directory by using the dash F option. Now again, you do want to be careful with this. Um, now to do this, you do rm and then dash r because we are deleting a directory and we're going to do this dash f to force the deletion. And then I'm just going to delete the tester that we have here. And if I run that, you can see that it deleted the directory. So once again, be careful with uh, that command because it's very powerful and it will permanently delete your files. Uh, the only way to recover them would be from some kind of backup and that's not something that anyone likely wants to do. And also just a reminder, there's a ton of other options that you can use with these commands. So be sure to check out the man pages if you ever get stuck and just kind of play around with all the cool things that you can do. But uh, hopefully you guys found this overview of these commands useful. Uh, keep practicing with these commands. Um, it's really one of those things that you wonder how you lived without it once you begin using these on a regular basis. But if you all do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos, and thank you all for watching.